Welcome back to The Vault, everyone. This time around, we have an awesome routine taken from a little book called Intimate Mysteries that was written by Chris Philpott. If you do not have that book, you need to rush out and get it. But this one effect, all tied up. Uh, he released earlier this year. It became kind of an underground uh, classic hit. That's why I want to put it on The Vault. Um, and since it first came out, all kinds of professionals uh, who have bought the trick and who have been using it in their routines and in their, their repertoires out in the real world have kind of compiled a whole bunch of fun, new uh, creative ideas with the principle. If you buy the download today, uh, you'll get access to the Facebook group so you can jam in there with everybody else. Uh, this is a stunning effect that leaves a huge impact on your spectators. Um, and of course, of course it does. It's Chris Philpott. Check it out. This is all tied up. Chris told me about All Tied Up. I, I worked on it, my own kind of little version of it, and presentation of it, and went out and did it for someone, uh, my hairdresser. And uh, she burst into tears and hugged me at the end of it, which has never happened uh, uh, in any magic trick in my entire career. What, what I love about this trick is, on an emotional level, it hits people, especially uh, women, I think, in, in a in a gut place that makes this more than a trick. It is not about the trick, it's mm -hmm. about, it really is about the experience. And I, and that was proven immediately when the hairdresser said, do it for my friend. So she called over one of her other hairdresser friends. And I thought, well, okay. The, the, and she wasn't watching the deck at all, her right. first hairdresser. She, no. was, she was watching the reactions of her friend who started to tear up. I think this can be one of the most powerful tricks you'll ever do with a deck of cards. So we're going to play a little psychological game. Imagine that you're tied up to a chair. How many times are they wrapping it around you? Six. <laughs> Tell me, is it a blunt tool or is it a sharp tool that you will use to cut yourself free? Sharp. Sharp tool. What would you like to know I would. The ropes that are tying you up symbolize something that's holding you back in your life. You chose a sharp object, you just want to cut through this crap and move on with your life. Does that sound about right with you? Yep. <laughs> Does that sound right to you? Yeah. Does that kind of sound like you? Yeah. <laughs> One other thing. Uh, you've also been choosing a card. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you chose the seven of stars. Isn't that interesting? Uh -huh. There's a deck of cards, underneath there's one card. Why don't you, why don't you move it? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Turn over your card. That's not all. It's not? I want you to tear that thing to pieces. Alright. Do it. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> How do you feel Thank after you. that? Um, weirdly emotional. <laughs> it's not very like myself to get emotional, but yeah. like I'm a little emotional. 